my YouTube. Like attracts like attracts like. And likely, you are a lot like the closest people to you. You think similarly. You are attracted to your partner in part because of your common ground, your similarities. We tend to more easily note the differences in those around us than the similarities. But if we look, in the general population, we are a lot more alike, the bare bones of it, than people realize. We can connect with those outside of ourselves, outside of our circle, through noting the similarities, the common ground that we all share. But because like attracts like attracts like, you are likely to be absorbing influences completely unconsciously that only support what you already believe. Your friendships, your partnerships, the organizations you involve yourself with, the social media you look up, the news you watch and read, what you endeavor as knowledge may very well be factual, but it's confirmatory of what you already know. I'm not saying to shake up your core, although it can be really good to occasionally shake up our core because our beliefs are our beliefs. It's where in the vast dark room of reality we are shining our little flashlight what angle we are getting so just as you can build the person you want to be by surrounding yourself with those things that you wish to be like also bear in mind that you don't want to exclude yourself from the totality of possibilities. You want to challenge what you think and perceive to be true, your beliefs, as much as you reinforce them. There's too much life. Life is a buffet. And there's too many ways to look at the same situation, too many ways to look at ourselves, too many, too many options on the buffet table to just take one. You don't have to agree, you don't have to change who you are, who you want to be, how you want to be, and how you want to believe and proceed. But how can you really be sure? If you don't question, if you don't allow others to question you, if you don't expose yourself to things that are outside of your box, allow, not just allow, seek out, seek out information that is outside of your typical interest zone. Seek out people that you think you know, that you have sized in some box, that you don't really know. Seek out the different. Seek out things that are contradictory to what you believe to be true, intentionally. At minimum, it's good for you to feel uncomfortable from time to time and critically think about your own 
assumptions and beliefs about reality and your life and yourself and your pursuits and your own ideology and see whether that's really where you want to be if you can't tell if your favorite food at the buffet is really this how can you have the conviction if you've never tried any of the other food you've only presumed how it's tasted so with everything in life be open be open be inquisitive seek out alternate options alternate opinions even the ones that you don't like Try to understand where the people are coming from. Allow yourself to be vulnerable, to be dissected, to potentially change. Allow yourself the possibility to change. But if you don't leave that small group of people ever, you don't leave that town ever, you don't change that channel ever. You don't open your ears when someone talks contradictory politics, history, spirituality. You tune out people of different cultures and religions. You'll never get the chance to expose yourself to something else. So Yes, like attracts like attracts like. People that stumble on my channel likely are into this sort of thing or they wouldn't be here. But maybe, eventually, someone else will find it. And those people who find it because you're interested in it, consider this. Consider this video and consider exposing yourself to the contradictory a little deeper than superficially. Turn on the opposite spun news. Expose yourself to other cultures. Seek friendships with people that you would completely disregard. Open books. Go to activities that you are not interested in. Because how can you know who you are for sure, who you want to be for sure, if you don't expose yourself to any other options? So, like attracts like, you are likely somewhat like me, which makes me like you because people like to see themselves in other people. We have an ego, no matter how much we don't want to have it. Even I do, with all my low self-esteem and everything. And I like you guys. I do, no matter who you are. And I would love to hear comments someday. I love the comments that I get. Any comments, because I'm curious about who on earth even watches this. Um, and I'm just curious about people and I'm just discovering who I am and who I want to be and I think that's a search you should continue to take your entire life and if you think you're pretty set in stone it's only because you've decided it's so and perhaps if you want a little jump start to reassure that that stone is the stone you want to be in or maybe you want to try a few other things. Seek out different opinions, different people, different things. Life is too short to pigeonhole yourself. And that is my thought of the day. And my boyfriend is here and this is the first time I'm filming in front of him. So I'm trying to be straight here and not get off topic. I love you guys. It's time to go live my life. Bye YouTube.